Hi, ArtStream community. My name is Sarah Sanfer. I'm ArtStream's Theater and Events Manager. And today I'm going to be showing you some of the features and the capabilities on Zoom. The first and most important feature I want to show you guys is the mute button and the video button. Your mute button looks like a little microphone and your video button looks like a camera. When you're in an ArtStream class or a rehearsal, you'll always want to make sure that your mute and your video button are on. If your mute and your audio button are both off, that means we can't see you or hear you. So let's make sure those are both on by clicking those right here. Your teacher might ask you to mute yourself if you have a lot of background noise. So you can mute yourself by clicking here, and then we unmute ourselves by simply clicking again. Again, if the buttons look like this, you can see me and you can hear me. If your buttons look like this, you can't see or hear me. Next, let's look at the chat function. Here in the bottom middle of your screen, you'll see a button that looks like a little chat bubble. And if we click that, you can choose to chat with everyone in the rehearsal, or you can chat with just one person at once. Next, let's look into the top right corner of our screen where you'll see a button that either says speaker view or gallery view. If you click speaker view like this, it means you can only see one person at once and generally that is the person who is talking right now. If you select gallery view, you can see everyone in the rehearsal at once. This part of the video is just for people who host art stream rehearsals like teaching artists and directors. If you're the host of this meeting, you'll have a button on the bottom labeled breakout rooms, which looks like four little squares. So first we have to decide how many rooms we wanna make. So we'll start with just two and manually sort our participants into each room. So we'll click create rooms and in breakout room one, Sarah two and Sarah three can work on singing. And in breakout room two, Sarah four can work on dancing. And then you can even name each room right here so you know what each breakout room is doing. So to start each room, all you have to do is click open all rooms and each participant will automatically be moved into each room. So. And then you as the host can join any room you want to. So I will go over here and click join. To leave the breakout room and go back to the main room, you go to the bottom corner and you can click leave room here. And it should take you back to the main room. To end our breakout rooms and to send all the actors back to the main section, we'll just click close all rooms here. And everyone will have 60 seconds to come back to the main room before Zoom automatically moves them over. Another cool feature on Zoom, and the last one that I'm going to be showing you today is the share screen function right here. So by clicking here, we can either share our screen and our sound for if you want to share a video, or if we click here, we can share only our computer sound, which is great if you wanna um, share a song for a dance party. And then you can even share your whiteboard, which looks like this, and you can type something that you want your actors to see, like a tongue twister. To stop sharing anything, you just click the red stop share button on the top bar of your screen. I hope all of you found this video helpful and we look forward to seeing you all on Zoom really soon. Bye.